It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Right now on the 10 o'clock news. Look at that. Nothing short of spectacular. The Macy's 4th of July fireworks did not disappoint. We'll take you live along the East River for the sights and sounds. And while some people escaped the city and headed to the beach, if you stayed in town, you got rewarded with a refreshing treat, empty streets. How people enjoyed a day free of crowds. Plus, Canal concerns people in one Long Island coastal town desperate for answers about what's turning the water black in their neighborhood. But first, though, of course, we begin with the 4th of July fireworks. Good evening, thanks for being with us. I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. Let's get right to Fox Sides. Christine Russo live in Long Island City. And Christine, you have the best spot to take in that spectacular show. Steve, Natasha, the fireworks show had just ended. Literally couldn't have had a better seat in the house. There's really nothing like seeing it in person. Every year we say, how do they do that, Macy's? They had some pretty amazing new effects this year. And they put out some interesting numbers for us as well. They say there were 30 different colors.